stars were bright, you were mine. We made 1,050 with a conventional headed engine. We have a docile piece that'll go into a street machine, and if the guy wants to make it a race car and go drag race with it, then it'll do that also. That is serious power. Don't think we're going to stop here because we're not. When two of the biggest names in big block Chevy performance came together to build an engine for Project Grandma, we knew something special was going to happen. Over three segments on Street Legal TV, we're going to show you from assembly to dyno testing to nitrous, just what our Edelbrock Musi crate engine is made of. One of the latest additions to the Power TV garage is Project Grandma. If you haven't already heard of her, she's a 1978 refrigerator white Chevy Malibu. Pretty much something your grandmother should be driving. Oh, the oceans run dry, or heavens fall from the sky. Now you're gone. On the inside, we're about to turn this baby into one badass street machine. That's why we're here in Carteret, New Jersey at Musi Performance, where we'll be witnessing the entire buildup of our 555 cubic inch Edelbrock Musi crate engine with a DARP lock. We'll also be adding a nitrous kit in hopes of over 850 horsepower. The best part about this entire project is that both Vic Edelbrock and Pat Musi will be supervising the entire build from the ground up. Hi, I'm Pat Musi. I own Pat Musi Performance. Uh, we've just formed a partnership with Edelbrock on a 555 cubic inch crate engine. It's 10 to 1, runs on pump gas. It's a great package. I feel it's a great package. Edelbrock brings some very unique parts to the table. It makes 675 horsepower on fuel injection on pump gas. You can get in it, go anywhere, drive it, and if you want to take it to the weekend and race it, we're going to show you how we build one. Basically, the short block consists of a dart block, a scat rotating assembly, which is a scat 4340, crank, a SCAT H-beam rod, and an SRP 10 to 1 piston. It's got a Moroso pan that we chose for oiling, a Moroso pump and pickup. It's got some very unique parts, very high quality end parts, and this thing is capable of making a thousand horsepower. We chose a DART block. I raced with Dick Maskins, the owner of DART, back in the 70s, and we have a very good relationship. I feel it's a, a good product for our foundation. It's a Sportsman series with a splayed main cap, which is very important. You don't want to drop the crankshaft, that other thing. We basically get it from Dart. It's ready, it'll accept the stroke. We have to hone it and assemble it. So they've come a long way on getting the engine closer to our specs. We've got the SCAT crankshaft installed and now it's time to assemble the rods and the JESRP pistons. A slight dome will provide just over 10 to 1 compression, perfect for making big power on pump gas. The JE pistons are off the shelf versions made specifically for the Edelbrock Musi 24 degree heads and include generous valve reliefs capable of accepting an even larger camshaft. The SCAT rods are H-beam in design and are capable of supporting well over 1,000 horsepower. We installed the pistons and the rods into the 555, torqued them down carefully, and went to work on our timing cover. I have heard of Pat's name, and it always had uh, good things and good vibrations with it. Uh, Edelbrock has gone through the thing where the company was developed by my late father as a racing uh, company. That's all they did then. And then as, as it grew through the 80s and the 90s and, and so on, it kind of got into other areas. And maybe we let the racing go a little bit. And I wanted to get back into that. Uh, somebody told me uh, in my company that uh, you were available and, uh, and we went and we talked. I liked what I heard. And remember, Edelbrock's 3,000 miles away on the, on, on the West Coast. And we need somebody that can really see and tell us what we should be doing, how we should be doing it, and we join hands, we can make the product, we've got the engineering out there that can put stuff together, and we can really come up with a winner.
Project Grandma's short block is completed. All the guys from UC Performance have left for the evening, but we'll all be back tomorrow to finish off the long block. And then Grandma's 555 cubic inch Mu Seattle Brock engine will be ready to be dyno tested. So stay tuned on StreetLegalTV.com.